Chapter Twenty Six of Jerusalem to Revelations, a Quartet of Spiritual Experience, by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day. Chapter Sixty Nine. From the Papyrus of Mes M. Nater. Vignette. This chapter is without a vignette, both in the Theban and Syite recessions of the Book of the Dead. Text. Another chapter. I am the Fire God, the divine brother of the Fire God, and I am Osiris, the brother of Isis. My divine son, together with his mother Isis, hath avenged me on mine enemies. My enemies have wrought every kind of evil, therefore their arms and hands and feet have been fettered by reason of their wickedness, which they have wrought upon me. I am Osiris, the first-born of the divine womb, the first-born of the gods, and the heir of my father, Osiris Seb. I am Osiris, the lords of the heads that live, mighty of breast and powerful of back, with a phallus which goeth to the remotest limits where men and women live. I am Sa, Orion, who traveleth over his domain and who journeyeth along before the stars of heaven, which is the belly of my mother, Nut. She conceived me through her love, and she gave birth to me, because it was her will so to do. I am Ampu, Anubis, on the day of the god Sapa. I am the bull at the head of the meadow. I even I am Osiris, who imprisoned his father together with his mother on the day of making the great slaughter. Now his father is Seb, and his mother is Nut. I am Horus, the first-born of Ra of the Risings. I am Anpu Anubis, on the day of the god Sepa. I, even I, am the Lord Tem. I am Osiris. Hail, thou divine firstborn, who dost enter and dost speak before the divine scribe and doorkeeper of Osiris. Grant that I may come. I have become a coup. I have been judged. I have become a divine being. I have come and I have avenged mine own body. I have taken up my seat by the divine birth-chamber of Osiris, and I have destroyed the sickness and suffering which were there. I have become mighty, and I have become a divine being by the side of the birth-chamber of Osiris. I am brought forth with him. I renew my youth. I renew my youth. I take possession of my two thighs, which are in the place where is Osiris, and I open the mouth of the gods therewith. I take my seat by his side, and Thoth cometh forth, and I am strengthened in heart with thousands of cakes upon the altars of my divine father, and with my breasts, and with my cattle, and with my red-feathered fowl, and with my oxen, and with my geese, and with my ducks, for Horus, my chieftain, and with the offerings which I make to Thoth, and with the sacrifices which I offer up to An Harry Ertaitsa. Chapter seventy from the Papyrus of Mes M. Nater. Vignette. This chapter is without a vignette both in the Theban and Sa'ite recensions of the Book of the Dead. 
text. Another chapter. I have sacrificed unto an Harry Ertaitza, and I am decreed to be strengthened in heart, for I have made offerings at the altars of my divine father Osiris. I rule in Tatu, and I lift myself up over his land. I sniff the wind of the east by its hair. I lay hold upon the north wind by its hair. I seize and hold fast to the west wind by its body, and I go round about heaven on its four sides. I lay hold upon the south wind by its eye, and I bestow air upon the venerable beings who are in the underworld, along with the eating of cakes. Rubric If this composition be known by the deceased upon earth, he shall come forth by day, and he shall have the faculty of travelling about among the living, and his name shall never perish. Chapter 71 From the Papyrus of Nepsene Vignette The deceased, kneeling, with both hands raised in adoration before the goddess me earth the legend reads the homage of the scribe nepsene to the goddess me earth lady of heaven and mistress of earth elsewhere the deceased is seen adoring ra in the presence of thoth and osiris Tech the chapter of coming forth by day the libationer the lord of reverence neb saini saith hail thou hawk who risest in heaven thou lord of the goddess may earth strengthen thou me according as thou hast strengthened thyself and show thyself upon the earth o thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself, and let thy will be done. Behold, the God of one face is with me. I am the hawk which is within the shrine, and I open that which is upon the hangings thereof. Behold, Horus, the son of Isis. Behold, Horus, the son of Isis. Strengthen thou me, according as thou hast strengthened thyself, and show thyself upon earth, O thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself, and let thy will be done. Behold, the God of one face is with me. I am the hawk in the southern heaven, and I am Thoth in the northern heaven. I make peace with the raging fire, and I bring Mart to him that loveth her. Behold, Thoth, even Thoth, strengthen thou me, according as thou hast strengthened thyself, and show thyself upon earth, O thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself, and let thy will be done. Behold, the God of one face is with me, I am the plant of the region where nothing sprouteth, and the blossom of the hidden horizon. Behold, Osiris, yea, Osiris, strengthen thou me, according as thou hast strengthened thyself, and show thyself upon earth, O thou that returnest, and withdrawest thyself, and let thy will be done. Behold, the God of one face is with me. Hail, thou who standest upon thy legs in thine hour, or, as others say, Hail, thou who art victorious upon thy legs in thine hour, thou Lord of the two divine to chaffy, I who livest in the two divine to chaffy, strengthen thou me, according as thou hast strengthened thyself, 
and show thyself upon earth, O thou that returnest, and withdrawest thyself, and let thy will be done. Behold, the God of one face is with me. Hail thou, Nekan, who art in thine egg, thou Lord of the goddess Maert. Strengthen thou me, according as thou hast strengthened thyself, and show thyself upon earth, O thou that returnest, and withdrawest thyself, and let thy will be done. Behold, the God of one face is with me. The God Sebek hath stood up within his ground, and the goddess Neith hath stood up within her plantation. O thou that returnest, and withdrawest thyself, show thyself upon earth, and let thy will be done. Behold, the God of one face is with me. Hail, ye seven beings who make decrees, who support the scales on the night of the judgment of the Uchat, who cut off heads, who hack necks in pieces, who take possession of hearts by violence, and rend the places where hearts are fixed, who make slaughterings in the lake of fire. I know you, and I know your names. Therefore know ye me, even as I know your names. I come forth to you, therefore come ye forth to me, for ye live in me, and I would live in you. Make ye me to be vigorous by means of that which is in your hands, that is to say, by the rod of power which is in your hands. Decree ye for me life by your speech year by year. Give me multitudes of years over and above my years of life, and multitudes of months over and above my months of life, and multitudes of days over and above my days of life, and multitudes of nights over and above my nights of life, and grant that I may come forth and shine upon my statue, and grant me air for my nose, and let my eyes have the power to see among those divine beings who dwell in the horizon on the day when evil doing and wrong are justly assessed. Rubric if this chapter be recited for the deceased, he shall be strong upon earth before Ra, and he shall have a comfortable burial or tomb with Osiris, and it shall be of great benefit to a man in the underworld. Sepulchral bread shall be given unto him, and he shall come forth into the presence of Ra day by day and every day regularly and continually chapter seventy two from the papyrus of nepsene vignette the deceased standing and holding a staff in his left hand text the chapter of coming forth by day and of opening up a way through the Amahet. Behold, the scribe Nepsene triumphant, who saith, Homage to you, O ye lords of Kars, ye who are without sin, and who live for the limitless and infinite eons of time which make up eternity. I have opened up a way for myself to you, I have become a coup in my forms. I have gained the mastery over my enchantments, and I am decreed to be a coup. Therefore deliver ye me from the crocodile which liveth in this country of right and truth. Grant ye to me my mouth, that I may speak therewith, and cause that my sepulchral meals be placed in my hands in your presence for I know you, and I know your names, and I know also the name of the mighty God, before whose nose ye set your chekfau food, and his name is Tekem. 
when he openeth up his path in the eastern horizon of heaven and when he fluttereth down in the western horizon of heaven may he carry me along with him and may i be safe and sound let not the mesket make an end of me let not the fiend gain the mastery over me let me not be turned back at your portals and let not your doors be shut in my face because my cakes are in the city of pay and my ale is in the city of tep and there in the celestial mansions of heaven which my divine father tem hath established let my hands lay hold upon the wheat and the barley which shall be given unto me therein in abundant measure and may the sun of mine own body make ready for me my food therein and grant ye unto me therein sepulchral meals and incense and wax and all the beautiful and pure things whereon the god liveth in very deed for ever in all the transformations which it pleaseth me to perform and grant me the power to float down and to sail up the stream in Seket Aru, and may I reach Seket Hetep. I am the double lion god. Rubric If this chapter be known by the deceased upon earth, or if it be done in writing upon his coffin, he shall come forth by day in all the forms which life is pleased to take, and he shall enter into his place, and shall not be driven back, and cakes, and ale, and joints of meat upon the altar of Osiris shall be given unto him, and he shall enter in peace into Sekhet Aru, to know the decree of him who dwelleth in Tatu. There shall wheat and barley be given unto him, there shall he flourish, as he did upon earth, and he shall do whatsoever it pleaseth him to do, even as the company of the gods which is in the underworld continually and regularly for millions of times. Chapter 73 See Chapter 9, Papyrus of Ani. This chapter is given twice in the Turin Papyrus, once with a vignette and once without. The vignette in the Theban recension is quite different from that in the Sa'ite recension, where the deceased is seen standing and holding a staff in his left hand. Chapter 74 From the Papyrus of New Vignette The deceased kneeling with both hands raised in adoration before the Saker boat placed upon its sledge. In the Syite recension, the deceased is standing near a two-legged serpent. Text. The chapter of lifting up the feet and of coming forth upon the earth. The Chancellor-in-Chief, new, triumphant, saith, Perform thy work, O Saker, perform thy work, O Saker, O thou who dwellest in thy house and who standest on thy feet in the underworld, I am the God who sendeth forth rays of light over the thigh of heaven, and I come forth to heaven, and I set myself down by the God of light, cool. Hail, I have become helpless. Hail, I have become helpless. But I go forward. I have become helpless. I have become helpless in the regions of those who plunder in the underworld. Chapter 75 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette. In the Sa'it recension, the deceased is standing before the emblem of Anu, Heliopolis. Text. The chapter of journeying to Anu, Heliopolis, and of receiving a throne therein. The Chancellor-in-Chief, Nu, triumphant, saith, I have come forth 
from the uttermost parts of the earth, and I have received my apparel at the will of the ape. I penetrate into the holy habitations of those who are in their shrines or coffins. I force my way to the habitations of the god Remrem, and I arrive in the habitations of the god Haksesa. I travel on through the holy chambers, and I pass into the temple of the god Kemkem. The buckle hath been given unto me, it hath placed its hands upon me, it hath decreed to my service its sister Kebant, and its mother Kekehet. It placeth me in the eastern part of heaven, wherein Ra riseth, and is exalted every day, and I rise therein, and travel onward, and I become a spiritual body, salt, like the god, and they set me on that holy way, on which Thoth journeyeth, when he goeth to make peace between the two fighting gods. That is Horus and Set. He journeyeth, he journeyeth to the city of Peb, and he cometh to the city of Tepu. Chapter 76 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette This chapter is without a vignette in the Theban recension, but in the Sa'ite recension a figure of the deceased is given above the chapter. Text The chapter of a man transforming himself into whatever form he pleaseth, the Chancellor-in-Chief, Nu, triumphant, saith, I have come into the house of the king by means of the mantis, Abbot, which led me hither. Homage to thee, O thou who fliest into heaven, and dost shine upon the sun of the white crown, and dost protect the white crown, let me have my existence with thee. I have gathered together the great gods, I am mighty, I have made my way, and I have travelled along thereon. Chapter 78 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette A golden hawk holding a flail, emblematic of rule. Text The Chapter of Performing the transformation into a hawk of gold. The Chancellor-in-Chief, new triumphant, saith, I have risen, I have risen like the mighty hawk of gold, that cometh forth from his egg, I fly, and I alight, like the hawk which hath a back four cubits wide, and the wings of which are like unto the mother of emerald of the south. I have come forth from the interior of the sectet boat, and my heart hath been brought unto me from the mountain of the east. I have alighted upon the Atet boat, and those who were dwelling in their companies have been brought unto me, and they bowed low in paying homage unto me, and in saluting me with cries of joy. I have risen, and I have gathered myself together like the beautiful hawk of gold, which hath the head of a Benu bud, and Ra entereth in day by day to hearken unto my words. I have taken my seat among those first-born gods of Nut. I am established, and the divine Seket Hetep is before me. I have eaten therein. I have become a Ku therein. I have an abundance therein, as much as I desire. The god Nepra hath given to me my throat, and I have gained the mastery over that which guardeth or belongeth to my head. Chapter 78 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette A hawk, painted green, holding a flail, and standing upon a pylon-shaped pedestal. Text The Chapter of Making the Transformation into a Divine Hawk The Chancellor-in-Chief Nu, Triumphant saith, Hail, great God, come now to Tatu. 
make thou smooth for me the ways, and let me go round about to visit my thrones. I have renewed myself, and I have raised myself up. O oh, grant thou that I may be feared, and make thou me to be a terror, that the gods of the underworld be afraid of me, and may they fight for me in their habitations which are therein. Let not him that would do me harm draw nigh unto me, or injure me in the house of darkness, that is, he that clotheth and covereth the feeble one, and whose name is hidden, and let not the gods act likewise towards me. Hail, ye gods, who hearken unto my speech. Hail, ye rulers, who are among the followers of Osiris. Be ye therefore silent, O ye gods, when one god speaketh unto another, for he hearkeneth unto right and truth, and what I speak unto him, do thou also speak for me then, O Osiris? Grant thou that I may journey round about, according to that which cometh forth from thy mouth concerning me, and grant that I may see thine own form, or forms, and the dispositions of thy souls. Grant thou that I may come forth, and that I may have power over my legs, and that I may have my existence there, like unto that of neb er to chair who is over all. May the gods of the underworld fear me, and may they fight for me in their habitations. Grant thou that I may move along therein, together with the divine beings who journey onwards, and may I be established upon my resting place, like the Lord of life. May I be joined unto Isis, the divine lady, and may she protect me from him that would do an injury unto me, and let not any one come to see the divine one naked and helpless. May I journey on, may I come into the uttermost parts of heaven. I exchange speech with the god Seb, I make supplication for divine food from Neber to Chet, the gods of the underworld have fear of me, and they fight for me in their habitations when they see that thou hast provided me with food, both of the fowl of the air and of the fish of the sea. I am one of those kims who dwell with the divine Ku, and I have made my form like unto his divine form, when he cometh forth and making himself manifest in tattoo. I am a spiritual body, salt, and possess my soul, and will speak unto thee the things which concern me. O oh, grant thou that I may be feared, and make thy me to be a terror, that the gods of the underworld be afraid of me, and may they fight for me in their habitations. I, even I, am the Ku, who dwelleth with the divine Ku, whom the god Tem himself hath created, and who hath come into being from the blossom, that is, the eyelashes, of his eye. He hath made to have existence, and he hath made to be glorious, that is, to be Kuz, and he hath made mighty thereby those who have their existence along with him. Behold, he is the only one in Nu, and they sing praises, or do homage unto him, when he cometh forth from the horizon, and the gods and the Kuz, who have come into being along with him, ascribe the lordship of terror unto him. I am one of those worms, which the eye of the Lord, the only one, hath created. And behold, when as yet Isis had not given birth to Horus, I had germinated, and had flourished, and I had become aged, and I had become greater than those who dwelt with the divine Ku, and who had come into being along with him. And I had risen up like the divine hawk, and Horus made for me a spiritual body containing his own soul, so that I might take possession of all that belonged unto Osiris in the underworld, the double lion god 
the governor of the things which belong to the temple of the Nemes Cram, who dwelleth in his secret abode, saith unto me, Get thee back to the uttermost parts of heaven, for behold, inasmuch as through thy form of Horus thou hast become a spiritual body, salt, the Nemes crown is not for thee, but behold, thou hast the power of speech even to the uttermost parts of heaven, and I, the guardian, took possession of the things of Horus, which belonged unto Osiris in the underworld, and Horus told aloud unto me the things which his divine father Osiris spake unto him in years gone by, on the day of his own burial. I have given unto thee the Nemes crown through the double lion god, that thou mayest pass onward, and mayest come to the heavenly path, and that those who dwell in the uttermost parts of the horizon may see thee, and that the gods of the underworld may see thee, and may fight for thee in their habitations. And of them is the Awet, the gods, each and all of them, who are the warders at the shrine of the Lord, the only one, have fallen before my words. Hail! He that is exalted upon his tomb is on my side, and he hath bound upon my head the Nemes crown, by the decree of the double lion god on my behalf, and the god Hawet hath prepared a way for me. I, even I, am exalted in my tomb, and the double lion god hath bound the Nemes crown upon my head, and he hath also given unto me the double hairy covering of my head. He hath established my heart through his own backbone, he hath established my heart through his own great and exceeding strength, and I shall not fall through shoe. I make my peace with the beautiful divine brother, the lord of the two Uriah, adored be he, I, even I, he, who knoweth the roads through the sky, and the wind thereof is in my body. The bull which striketh terror into men shall not drive me back, and I shall pass on to the place where lieth the shipwrecked mariner on the border of the Seket Ne'e, that is, field of illimitable time. And I shall journey on to the night and sorrow of the regions of Amenti. O Osiris, I shall come each day into the house of the double lion god, and I shall come forth therefrom into the house of Isis, the divine lady. I shall behold sacred things which are hidden, and I shall be led on to the secret and holy things, even as they have granted unto me to see the birth of the great god. Horus hath made me to be a spiritual body through his soul, and I see what is therein. If I speak near the mighty ones of Shu, they repulse my opportunity. I am the guardian, and I take possession of the things which Horus had from Osiris in the underworld. I, even I, am Horus, who dwelleth in the divine Ku. I have gained power over his crown, I have gained power over his radiance, and I have travelled over the remote, illimitable parts of heaven. Horus is upon his throne, Horus is upon his royal seat. My face is like unto that of the divine hawk, my strength is like unto that of the divine hawk, and I am one who hath been fully equipped by his divine lord. I shall come forth to Tatu, I shall see Osiris, I shall pay homage to him on the right hand and on the left. I shall pay homage unto Nut, and she shall look upon me, and the god shall look upon me, together with the eye of Horus, who is without sight. They, that is, the gods, shall make their arms to come forth unto me. I rise up as a divine power, and I repulse him that would subject me to restraint. They open unto me the holy paths, they see my form, and they hear that which I speak. Down upon your faces, ye gods of the Tuat underworld, who would resist me with your faces, and oppose me with your powers, 
who lead along the stars which never rest, and who make the holy paths unto the Hamati abode, where is the Lord of the exceeding mighty and terrible soul. Horus hath commanded that ye lift up your faces, so that I may look upon you. I have risen up like the divine hawk, and Horus hath made for me a spiritual body through his own soul, to take possession of that which belonged to Osiris in the Tuat underworld. I have bound up the gods with divine tresses, and I have travelled on to those who ward their chambers, and who were on both sides of me. I have made my roads, and I have journeyed on, and have reached those divine beings who inhabit their secret dwellings, and who are warders of the temple of Osiris. I have spoken unto them with strength, and have made them to know the most mighty power of him that is provided with two horns to fight against Suti, and I make them to know concerning him that hath taken possession of the divine food, and who is provided with the might of Tem. May the gods of the underworld order a prosperous journey for me. O oh, ye gods, who inhabit your secret dwellings, and who are warders of the temple of Osiris, and whose numbers are great and multitudinous, grant ye that I may come unto you. I have bound up and I have gathered together the powers of Kesemu Enanet, or, as others say, Kesemu Enanet, and I have made holy the powers of the paths of those who watch and ward the roads of the horizon, and who are the guardians of the horizon of Hamati, which is in heaven. I have established habitations for Osiris, I have made the ways holy for him. I have done that which hath been commanded. I have come forth to Tatu. I have seen Osiris. I have spoken unto him concerning the matters of his first-born son, whom he loveth, and concerning the wounding of the heart of Suti. And I have seen the Divine One who is without life. Yea, I have made them to know concerning the counsels of the gods which Horus carried out while his father Osiris was not with him. Hail, Lord, thou most mighty and terrible soul! Verily, I, even I, have come, look thou upon me, and do thou make me to be exalted. I have made my way through thy Tuat underworld, and I have opened up the paths which belong to heaven, and also those which belong to earth, and I have suffered no opposition therein. Exalted be thou upon thy throne, O Osiris! Thou hast heard fair things, O Osiris! Thy strength is vigorous, O Osiris! Thy head is fastened unto thee, O Osiris! Thy brow is established, O Osiris! Thy heart is glad, O Osiris! Thy speech established, O Osiris, and thy princes rejoice. Thou art established like the bull of Amentet. Thy son, Horus, hath risen like the sun upon thy throne, and all life is with him. Millions of years minister unto him, and millions of years hold him in fear. The company of the gods are his servants, and the company of the gods hold him in fear. The god Tem, the governor and only one of the gods, hath spoken these things, and his word passeth not away. Horus is both the divine food and the sacrifice. He hath passed on to gather together the members of his divine father. Horus is his deliverer. Horus is his deliverer. Horus hath sprung from the water of his divine father, and from his decay. He hath become the governor of Egypt. The gods labour for him, and they toil for him for millions of years, and he hath made to live millions of years through his eye, the only one of its lord, 
or neb es neb er to che end of chapter twenty six chapter twenty seven of jerusalem to revelations a quartet of spiritual experience by william blake and others this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by tony addison the chapters of coming forth by day chapter seventy nine from the papyrus of nu vignette the deceased kneeling in adoration before three gods text the chapter of being transformed into the governor of the sovereign princes the chancellor in chief nu triumphant saith i am the god tem the maker of heaven the creator of things which are who cometh forth from the earth who maketh to come into being the seed which is sown the lord of things which shall be who gave birth to the gods i am the great god who made himself the lord of life who maketh to flourish the company of the gods homage to you o ye lords of divine things or of creation ye pure beings whose abodes are hidden homage to you o ye everlasting lords whose forms are hidden and whose shrines are hidden in places which are unknown homage to you o ye gods who dwell in the tenaite homage to you o ye gods of the circuit of the flooded lands of cable homage to you o ye gods who live in amentet homage to you o ye company of the gods who dwell in nut grant ye that i may come unto you for i am pure i am divine I am a cool, I am strong, I am endowed with a soul, or I am mighty, and I have brought unto you incense and sweet-smelling gums and natron. I have made an end of the spittle which floweth from your mouth upon me. I have come, and I have made an end of the evil things which are in your hearts, and I have removed the fault which ye kept laid up against me i have brought to you the things which are good and i make to come into your presence right and truth i even i know you and i know your names and i know your forms which are unknown and i come into being along with you my coming is like unto that of the god who eateth men and who liveth upon the gods i am mighty with you like the god who is exalted upon his resting-place the gods come to me in gladness and goddesses make supplication unto me when they see me i have come unto you and i have risen like your two divine daughters i have taken my seat in the horizon and i receive my offerings upon my tables and i drink drink offerings at eventide my coming is received with shouts of joy and the divine beings who dwell in the horizon ascribe praises unto me the divine spiritual body sir the lord of divine beings i am exalted like the holy god who dwelleth in the great temple 
and the gods rejoice when they see me in my beautiful coming forth from the body of Nut, when my mother Nut giveth birth unto me. Chapter 80 From the Papyrus of Ani Vignette A god with the disk of the sun upon his head. Text The chapter of making the transformation into the god who giveth light in the darkness. Saith Osiris, the scribe, Ani, triumphant. I am the girdle of the robe of the god Nu, which shineth and sheddeth light upon that which belongeth to his breast, which sendeth forth light into the darkness, which uniteth the two fighting deities who dwell in my body through the mighty spell of the words of my mouth, which raiseth up him that hath fallen, for he who was with him in the valley of Abtu Abydos hath fallen, and I rest. I have remembered him, I have taken possession of the god who in my city, for I found him therein, and I have led away captive the darkness by my might. I have rescued the eye of the sun when it waned at the coming of the festival of the fifteenth day, and I have weighed suit in the celestial houses against the aged one who is with him. I have endowed Thoth with what is needful in the temple of the moon god for the coming of the fifteenth day of the festival. I have taken possession of the Ureret crown. Mark that is, right and truth, is in my body. Its mouths are of turquoise and rock crystal. My homestead is among the furrows, which are of the colour of lapis lazuli. I am hem -nu, who sheddeth light in the darkness. I have come to give light in the darkness, which is made light and bright by me. I have given light in the darkness, and I have overthrown the destroying crocodiles. I have sung praises unto those who dwell in the darkness. I have raised up those who wept, and who had hidden their faces, and had sunk down in wretchedness. And they did look then upon me. Hail! Then, ye beings, I am him new, and I will not let you hear concerning the matter. I have opened the way. I am him new. I have made light the darkness. I have come, having made an end of the darkness, which hath become light indeed chapter eighty one a from the papyrus of nu vignette in the papyrus of nebsene the vignette of this chapter is simply a lotus flower in full bloom but in the papyrus of ani a human head is seen springing from the lotus which is growing in a pool of water Text. The chapter of making the transformation into a lotus. The overseer of the palace, the chancellor-in-chief, Nu, saith, I am the pure lotus, which springeth up from the divine splendour that belongeth to the nostrils of Ra. I have made my way, and I follow on, seeking for him who is Horus. I am the pure one, who cometh forth out of the field. Chapter 81b From the Papyrus of Pakra Vignette A human head springing from a lotus. Text The chapter of making the transformation into a lotus. Saith Osiris Pakra Hail, 
thou lotus, thou type of the god Nefertemu. I am the man that knoweth you, and I know your names among those of the gods, the lords of the underworld, and I am one of you. Grant ye that I may see the gods, who are the divine guides in the Tuat underworld, and grant ye unto me a place in the underworld, near unto the lords of Amentet. Let me arrive at a habitation in the land of Chesert, and receive me, O all ye gods, in the presence of the lords of eternity. Grant that my soul may come forth whithersoever it pleaseth, and let it not be driven away from the presence of the great company of the gods. Chapter 82 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette The god Ptah in a shrine, before which is a table of offerings. Text The chapter of making the transformation into Ptah, of eating cakes, and of drinking ale, and of unfettering the steps, and of becoming a living being in Anu, Heliopolis. The Chancellor-in-Chief, Nu, triumphant, saith, I fly like a hawk, I cackle like the smen goose, and I perch upon that abode of the underworld, Dat, on the festival of the great being, that which is an abomination unto me, that which is an abomination unto me, I have not eaten, filth, is an abomination unto me, and I have not eaten thereof, and that which is an abomination unto my car hath not entered into my belly. Let me, then, live upon that which the gods and the coups decree for me. Let me live, and let me have power over cakes. Let me eat them before the gods and the coups who have a favour unto me. Let me have power over these cakes, and let me eat of them under the shade of the leaves of the palm-tree of the goddess Hathor, who is my divine lady. Let the offering of the sacrifice, and the offering of cakes, and vessels of libations be made in Anu. Let me clothe myself in the tadu garment, which I shall receive from the hand of the goddess Tait. Let me stand up, and let me sit down, wheresoever I please. My head is like unto that of Ra, and when my members are gathered together, I am like unto Tem. The four sides of the domain of Ra, and the width of the earth four times. I come forth. My tongue is like unto that of Ptah, and my throne is like unto that of the goddess Hathor, and I make mention of the words of Tem, my father, with my mouth. He it is who constraineth the handmaid, the wife of Seb, and before him are bowed all heads, and there is fear of him. Hymns of praise are repeated for me by reason of my mighty acts, and I am decreed to be the divine hair of Seb, the lord of the earth, and to be the protector therein. The god Seb refresheth me, and he maketh his risings to be mine. Those who dwell in Anu bow down their heads unto me, for I am their lord, and I am their bull. I am more powerful than the lord of time, and I shall enjoy the pleasures of love, and shall gain the mastery over millions of years. Chapter 83 From the Papyrus of Nu Text The Chapter of Making the Transformation into a Benu Bird The Chancellor-in-Chief, Nu, Triumphant, saith, I came into being from unformed matter. I came into existence like the god Kepara. I have germinated 
like the things which germinate, that is, plants, and I have dressed myself like the tortoise. I am of the germs of every god. I am yesterday of the four quarters of the world, and of those seven Uriae which came into existence in Amentet. That is to say, Horus, who omitteth light from his divine body. He is the god who fought against Suti, but the god Thoth cometh between them through the judgment of him that dwelleth in Sekem, and of the souls who are in Anu, and there is a stream between them. I have come by day, and I have risen in the footsteps of the gods. I am the god Kensu, who driveth back all that oppose him. Rubric If this chapter be known by the deceased, he shall come forth pure by day after his death, and he shall perform whatsoever transformations his heart desireth. He shall be in the following of un and he shall be satisfied with the food of Osiris, and with sepulchral meals. He shall see the disc, he shall be in good case upon earth before Ra, and he shall be triumphant before Osiris, and no evil thing whatsoever shall have dominion over him for ever and ever. Chapter 84 From the Papyrus of Nu Text the chapter of making the transformation into a heron. The Chancellor-in-Chief knew triumphant, saith, I have gotten dominion over the beasts that are brought for sacrifice with the knives which are held at their heads, and at their hair, and at their... Hail, aged ones, hail, coos, who are provided with the opportunity the Chancellor-in-Chief the overseer of the palace knew triumphant is upon the earth, and what he hath slaughtered is in heaven, and what he hath slaughtered is in heaven, and he is upon the earth. Behold, I am strong, and I work mighty deeds to the very heights of heaven. I have made myself pure, and I make the breadth of heaven a place for my footsteps as I go into the cities of Aukert. I advance and I go forward into the city of Unu, Hermopolis. I have set the gods upon their paths, and I have roused up the exalted ones who dwell in their shrines. Do I not know Nu? Do I not know Ta Tunen? Do I not know the beings of the colour of fire who thrust forward their horns? Do I not know every being having incantations, unto whose words I listen. I am the Smam bull for slaughter, which is written down in the books. The gods, crying out, say, Let your faces be gracious to him that cometh onward. The light is beyond your knowledge, and ye cannot fetter it, and times and seasons are in my body. I do not utter words to the god who... I do not utter words of wickedness instead of words of right and truth, and each day right and truth come upon my eyebrows. At night taketh place the festival of him that is dead, the aged one who is in ward in the earth. Chapter 85 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette, a soul. Text. The chapter of making the transformation into a living soul, and of not entering into the chamber of torture. Whosoever knoweth it shall not see corruption. The Chancellor-in-Chief knew, triumphant, saith, I am the divine soul of Ra, proceeding from the god Nu, that divine soul which is God, I am the creator of the divine food, and that which is an abomination unto me is sin, whereon I look not. I proclaim right and truth, 
and I live therein. I am the divine food, which is not corrupted in my name of soul. I gave birth unto myself, together with Nu, in my name of Kepara, in whom I come into being day by day. I am the Lord of Light, and that which is an abomination unto me is death. Let me not go into the chamber of torture which is in the Tuat underworld. I ascribe honour unto Osiris, and I make to be at peace the hearts of those beings who dwell among the divine things which I love. They cause the fear of me to abound, and they create awe of me in those beings who dwell in their divine territories. Behold, I am exalted upon my standard, and upon my seat, and upon the throne which is a judge to me. I am the God Nu, and the workers of iniquity shall not destroy me. I am the first-born God of primeval matter, that is to say, the divine soul, even the souls of the gods of everlastingness, and my body is eternity. My form is everlastingness, and is the lord of years, and the principle of eternity. I am the creator of the darkness, who maketh his habitation in the uttermost parts of the sky, which I love, and I arrive at the confines thereof. I advance upon my feet, I become master of my vine, I sail over the sky, which formeth the division betwixt heaven and earth. I destroy the hidden worms that travel nigh unto my footsteps, which are towards the Lord of the two hands and arms. My soul is the souls of the souls of everlastingness, and my body is eternity. I am the divine exalted being who is the lord of the land of table i am the boy in the city and the young man in the plain is my name he that never suffereth corruption is my name i am the soul the creator of the god nu who maketh his habitation in the underworld my place of incubation is unseen and my egg is not cracked. I have done away with all my iniquity, and I shall see my divine Father, the Lord of Eventide, whose body dwelleth in Anu. I travel to the God of Night, who dwelleth with the God of Light, by the western region of the Ibis. That is, Chapter 86 From the Papyrus of Nu A Swallow Perched Upon a Conical Object Text The Chapter of Making the Transformation into a Swallow The Chancellor-in-Chief Nu, Triumphant, saith, I am a Swallow, I am a Swallow, I am the scorpion, the daughter of Ra. Hail ye gods whose scent is sweet. Hail ye gods whose scent is sweet. Hail flame which cometh forth from the horizon. Hail thou who art in the city. I have brought the warden of his bite therein. O oh, stretch out unto me thy hand, so that I may be able to pass my days in the pool of double fire, and let me advance with my message, for I have come with words to tell. O oh, open thou the doors to me, and I will declare the things which have been seen by me. Horus hath become the divine prince of the vote of the sun, and unto him hath been given the throne of his divine father Osiris, and Set, that son of Nut, lieth under the fetters which he had made for me. I have made a computation of what is in the city of Sechem. I have stretched out both my hands and arms at the word of Osiris. I have passed on to judgment, and I have come that I may speak. 
grant that I may pass on and declare my tidings. I enter in, I am judged, and I come forth worthy at the gate of neb er I am pure at the great place of the passage of souls. I have done away with my sins, I have put away mine offences, and I have destroyed the evil which appertaineth unto my members upon earth. Hail, ye divine beings who guard the doors, make ye for me a way, for behold, I am like unto you. I have come forth by day, I have journeyed on on my legs, I have gained the mastery over my footsteps before the God of light. I know the hidden ways, and the doors of the Seket Aru. Verily, I, even I, have come. I have overthrown my enemies upon earth, and yet my perishable body is in the grave. Rubric If this chapter be known by the deceased, he shall come forth by day, he shall not be turned back at any gate in the underworld, and he shall make his transformation into a swallow, regularly and continually. Chapter 87 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette The Serpent Satyr With Human Legs Text the chapter of making the transformation into the serpent satyr. The Chancellor-in-Chief, Nu, triumphant, saith, I am the serpent satyr, whose years are many. I die, and I am born again each day. I am the serpent satyr, which dwelleth in the uttermost parts of the earth. I die, and I am born again, and I renew myself and I grow young every day. Chapter 88 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette A Crocodile Upon a Pylon or Gateway Text The Chapter of Making the Transformation into a Crocodile The Chancellor-in-Chief Nu Triumphant saith I am the divine crocodile which dwelleth in his terror. I am the divine crocodile, and I seize my prey like a ravening beast. I am the great and mighty fish which is in the city of Kemur. I am the lord to whom bowing and prostrations are made in the city of Sekem. Chapter 89 from the Papyrus of Ani. Vignette. The mummy of the deceased lying upon a bier. Above is his soul in the form of a human-headed bird holding Shem, the emblem of eternity, in its claws. Text. The chapter of causing the soul to be united to its body in the underworld. The Osiris, Ani, triumphant, saith, Hail, the god Anu, that is, bringer, Hail, the god Pera, that is, runner, Who dwellest in thy hall, Hail, great god, Grant thou that my soul may come unto me, From wheresoever it may be, If it would tarry, then let my soul be brought unto me from wheresoever it may be, for thou shalt find the eye of Horus standing by thee, like unto those beings who are like unto Osiris, and who never lie down in death. Let not the Osiris Ani triumphant lie down in death, among those who lie down in Anu, the land wherein souls are joined unto their bodies even in thousands. Let me have possession of my Ba, soul, and of my Uhu, and let me triumph therewith in every place, wheresoever it may be. Observe these things which I speak, for it hath staves with it. Observe them, O ye divine guardians of heaven, my soul, wheresoever it may be. If it would tarry, do thou make my soul to look upon my body, 
for thou shalt find the eye of Horus standing by thee, like those beings who are like unto Osiris. Hail, ye gods, who tow along the boat of the Lord of millions of years, who bring it above the underworld, and who make it to travel over Newt, who make souls to enter into their spiritual bodies, whose hands are filled with your ropes, and who clutch your weapons tight, destroy ye the enemy. Thus shall the boat of the sun be glad, and the great god shall set out on his journey in peace. And behold, grant ye that the soul of Osiris Ani triumphant may come forth before the gods, and that it may be triumphant along with you in the eastern part of the sky, to follow unto the place where it was yesterday, and that it may have peace, peace in Amentet, may it look upon its material body, may it rest upon its spiritual body, and may its body neither perish nor suffer corruption for ever. Rubric. These words are to be said over a soul of gold, inlaid with precious stones, and placed on the breast of Osiris. Chapter 90. From the Papyrus of Nu. Vignette. A jackal walking towards the funeral mountain, or the deceased standing upright in the presence of the god Thoth, who is about to give unto him a roll of papyrus. Text The Chapter of Driving Evil Recollections from the Mouth The Overseer of the Palace, the Chancellor-in-Chief, Nu, Triumphant, the Son of the Overseer of the Palace, the Chancellor-in-Chief, Amen, Hetep, triumphant, saith. Hail, thou that cuttest off heads, and slittest brows, thou being who puttest away the memory of evil things from the mouth of the Khus by means of the incantations which they have within them. Look not upon me with the same eyes with which thou lookest upon them. Go thou round about on thy legs, and let thy face be turned behind thee, so that thou mayest be able to see the divine slaughterers of the god Shu, who are coming up behind thee to cut off thy head and to slit thy brow by reason of the message of violence sent by thy lord, and to see that which thou sayest. Work thou for me, so that the memory of evil things shall dart from my mouth, let not my head be cut off, let not my brow be slit, and let not my mouth be shut fast by reason of the incantations which thou hast within thee, according to that which thou doest for the coups through the incantations which they have within themselves. Get thee back and depart at the sound of the two speeches which the goddess Isis uttered when thou didst come to cast the recollection of evil things into the mouth of Osiris by the will of Suti, his enemy, saying, Let thy face be towards thy privy parts, and look upon that face which cometh forth from the flame of the eye of Horus against thee, from within the eye of Tem, and the calamity of that night which shall consume thee. And Osiris went back for the abomination of thee was in him, and thou didst go back, for the abomination of him is in thee. I have gone back, for the abomination of thee is in me, and thou shalt go back, for the abomination of me is in thee. Thou wouldst come unto me, but I say that thou shalt not advance to me, so that I come to an end, and I say then, to the divine slaughterers of the god Shu, depart. End of chapter 27 
Chapter Twenty Eight of Jerusalem to Revelations, a Quartet of Spiritual Experience, by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day. Chapter Ninety One. From the Papyrus of Nu. Vignette. The soul of the deceased, in the form of a human-headed bird, standing in front of a pylon. Text. The chapter of not letting the soul of Nu, triumphant, be captive in the underworld. He saith, Hail! Thou who art exalted, hail, thou who art adored, O thou mighty one of souls, thou divine soul, thou possessor of terrible power, who dost put the fear of thyself into the gods, thou who art crowned upon thy throne of majesty, I pray thee to make a way for the bar soul, and for the Ku, and for the Ka'abit shade, of the overseer of the palace, the chancellor-in-chief, Nu, triumphant, and let him be provided therewith. I am a perfect Ku, and I have made my way unto the place wherein dwell Ra and Hathor. Rubric. If this chapter be known by the deceased, he shall be able to transform himself into a coup, provided with his soul and with his shade in the underworld, and he shall never be held captive at any door in Amentet, in entering in or in coming out. This rubric is taken from the papyrus of Ani. Chapter 92 From the Papyrus of Nebsene Vignette The soul of the deceased in the form of a human-headed bird flying out from the doorway of the tomb. Variant Vignette represent the deceased as having opened the door of the tomb and having his soul by his side or as standing before the open door with hands stretched out to embrace his soul an interesting vignette represents the disk of the sun with rays shooting forth from it above the tomb and the soul of the deceased hovering over his shade, drawn in solid black colour, which has just emerged therefrom. Text The chapter of opening the tomb to the soul and to the shade of Osiris, the scribe Nebsene, the lord of reverence, born of the lady of the house, Mut resta, triumphant, so that he may come forth by day and have dominion over his feet. He saith, That which was shut fast hath been opened, that is to say, he that lay down in death hath been opened. That which was open hath been shut to my soul through the command of the eye of Horus, which hath strengthened me, and which maketh to stand fast the beauties which are upon the forehead of Ra, whose strides are long as he lifteth up his legs in journeying. I have made for myself a way, my members are mighty and are strong. I am Horus, the avenger of his divine father, I am he who bringeth along his divine father, 
and who bringeth along his mother by means of his sceptre. And the way shall be opened unto him who hath gotten dominion over his feet, and he shall see the great God in the boat of Ra, when souls are counted therein at the bows, and when the years also are counted up. Grant that the eye of Horus, which maketh the adornments of light to be firm upon the forehead of Ra, may deliver my soul from me, and let there be darkness upon your faces, O ye who would hold fast, O Zyrus. O keep not captive my soul, O keep not ward over my shade, but let a way be opened for my soul and for my shade, and let them see the great God in the shrine on the day of the judgment of souls, and let them recite the utterances of Osiris, whose habitations are hidden to those who guard the members of Osiris, and who keep ward over the coos, and who hold captive the shades of the dead, who would work evil against me, so that they shall not work evil against me. May a way for thy double, Ka, along with thee, and along with thy soul, be prepared by those who keep ward over the members of Osiris, and who hold captive the shades of the dead. Heaven shall not keep thee, the earth shall not hold thee captive, thou shalt not have thy being with the divine beings who make slaughter, but thou shalt have dominion over thy legs, and thou shalt advance to thy body straightway in the earth, and to those who belong to the shrine and guard the members of Osiris. Chapter 93 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette A buckle with human hands and arms, which grasp the deceased by his left arm, in the ant papyrus and in the saite recension the vignette shows the deceased standing with both hands raised in adoration before a god who is seated in a boat and who has his head turned so that his face looks backward text the chapter of not sailing to the east in the underworld the chancellor in chief new triumphant saith hail phallus of ra who departest from thy calamity which ariseth through opposition the cycles have been without movement for millions of years i am stronger than the strong i am mightier than the mighty if i sail away or if i be snatched away to the east through the two horns or as others say if any evil and abominable thing be done unto me at the feast of the devils the phallus of ra shall be swallowed up along with the head of osiris and behold me for i journey along over the fields wherein the gods mow down those who make reply unto their words now verily the two horns of the god Kepara shall be thrust aside, and verily pus shall spring into being in the eye of Tem, along with corruption, if I be kept in restraint, or if I have gone towards the east, or if the feast of devils be made in my presence, or if any malignant wound be inflicted upon me. Chapter 94 from the papyrus of nu vignette the deceased seated with a table before him on which rest an inkpot and the palate of a scribe in the sa'id recension the deceased is offering an inkpot and a palette to the god thoth text 
the chapter of praying for an inkpot and for a palette the chancellor in chief new triumphant saith hail aged god who dost behold thy divine father and who art the guardian of the book of thoth behold i have come i am endowed with glory i am endowed with strength i am filled with might and i am supplied with the books of thoth and i have brought them to enable me to pass through the god acre who dwelleth in set i have brought the inkpot and the palette as being the objects which are in the hands of thoth hidden is that which is in them behold me in the character of a scribe i have brought the offal of osiris and i have written thereon i have made that is copied the words of the great and beautiful god each day fairly o heru kuti thou didst order me and i have made that is copied what is right and true and I do bring it unto thee each day. Chapter 95 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette The deceased, standing before Thoth, with both hands raised in adoration of the god. In the Papyrus of Usur Hat which probably belongs to the period of the eighteenth dynasty the vignette is a goose but this arises from the fact that the chapter is there called the chapter of making the transformation into a goose text the chapter of being nigh unto thoth the Chancellor-in-Chief, new, triumphant, saith, I am he who sendeth forth terror into the powers of rain and thunder, and I ward off from the great divine lady the attacks of violence. I have smitten like the god Shat, that is, the god of slaughter, and I have poured out libations of cool water like the god ashu and i have worked for the great divine lady to ward off the attacks of violence i have made to nourish my knife along with the knife which is in the hand of thoth in the powers of rain and thunder chapters ninety six and ninety seven from the papyrus of nu vignette the deceased standing behind the god thoth text the chapter of being nigh unto thoth and of giving glory unto a man in the underworld the chancellor in chief nu triumphant saith i am the god her ab mat that is he that is within his eye and i have come to give right and truth to ra i have made sutitu be at peace with me by means of offerings made to the god akka and to the tesheru deities and by making reverence unto seb the ninety-sixth chapter ends here according to the Sa'ite recension. The following words are to be recited in the sectet boat. Heo, sceptre of Anubis, I have made the four coups who are in the train of the Lord of the universe to be at peace with me, and I am the Lord of the fields through their decree. I am the Divine Father Ba, that is, the god of the water flood, and I do away with the thirst of him that keepeth ward over the lakes. Behold ye me then, O great gods of majesty, 
who dwell among the souls of Anu, for I am lifted up over you. I am the god Menk, that is, gracious one, who dwelleth among you. Verily, I have cleansed my soul, O great god of majesty. Set not before me the evil obstacles which issue from thy mouth, and let not destruction come round about me or upon me. I have made myself clean in the lake of making to be at peace, and in the lake of weighing in the balance, and I have bathed myself in Netert Uchat, which is under the holy sycamore tree of heaven. Behold, I am bathed, and I have triumphed over all my enemies straightway, who come forth and rise up against right and truth. I am right and true in the earth. I, even I, have spoken with my mouth, which is the power of the Lord, the only one, Ra, the mighty, who liveth upon right and truth. Let not injury be inflicted upon me, but let me be clothed on the day of those who go forward to every good thing. Chapter 98 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette In the Theban Papyri, this chapter has no vignette. In the Sa'ite recension, the vignette represents the deceased, standing with his right hand outstretched, in the act of addressing a god, who is seated in a boat. Text The Chapter of Bringing Along a Boat in Heaven The Chancellor-in-Chief Triumphant saith, Hail to thee, O thou thigh, which dwellest in the northern heaven, in the great lake, which art seen, and which diest not. I have stood up over thee, when thou didst rise like a god. I have seen thee, and I have not lain down in death. I have stood over thee, and I have risen like a god. I have cackled like a goose, and I have alighted like the hawk, by the divine clouds, and by the great dew. I have journeyed from the earth to heaven. The god Shu hath made me to stand up. The god of light hath made me to be vigorous by the two sides of the ladder, and the stars which never rest set me on my way, and bring me away from slaughter. I bring along with me the things which drive back calamities as I advance over the passage of the god Pem. Thou comest, how great art thou, O god Pem! I have come from the pool of flame which is in the Seket Sasa, that is, the field of fire. Thou livest in the pool of flame in Seket Sasa, and I live upon the staff of the holy god. Hail, thou god Kark, who dost bring those things which are in the boat by thee. I stand up in the boat, and I guide myself over the water. I have stood up in the boat, and the God hath guided me. I have stood up, I have spoken, I am master of the crops. I sail round about as I go forward, and the gates which are in Sakem, Latopolis, are opened unto me, and fields are awarded unto me in the city of Unu, Hermopolis, and labourers are given unto me, together with those of my own flesh and bone. Chapter 99 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette The Deceased and a Boatman in a Boat Text The Chapter of Bringing a Longer Boat in the Underworld The Chancellor-in-Chief, Nu, Triumphant, saith, Hail, ye who bring along the boat over the evil back of Apepi, Grant that I may bring the boat along, and coil up its ropes in peace, in peace. Come, come, hasten, hasten, 
for I have come to see my father Osiris, the lord of the ansi garment, who hath gained the mastery with joy of heart. Hail, lord of the rainstorm, thou male, thou sailor. Hail, thou who dost sail over the evil back of Apep. Hail, thou that dost bind up heads, and dost establish the bones of the neck, when thou comest forth from the knives. Hail, thou who art in charge of the hidden boat, who dost fetter Apep, grant that I may bring along the boat, and that I may coil up the ropes, and that I may sail forth therein. This land is baleful, and the stars have overbalanced themselves, and have fallen upon their faces therein, and they have not found anything which will help them to ascend again. Their path is blocked by the tongue of Ra, and Tebu is the guide of the two lands, Seb established through their rudders. The power which openeth the disc, the prince of the red beings. I am brought along like him that hath suffered shipwreck. Grant that my coop, my brother, may come to me, and that I may set out for the place whereof thou knowest. Tell me my name, saith the wood, whereat I would anchor. Lord of the two lands, who dwellest in the shrine, is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the rudder. Leg of Hapiu is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the rope. Hair with which Anpu Anubis, finisheth the work of my embalmment, is thy name. Tell us our name, say the Orests. Pillars of the underworld is your name. Tell me my name, saith the Hold. Akar is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the Mast. He who bringeth back the great lady after she hath gone away, is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the lower deck. Standard of Apuat is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the upper post. Throat of Mastar is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the sail. Nut is thy name. Tell us our name, say the pieces of leather. Ye who are made from the hide of the Menevis bull, which was burned by Suti, is your name. Tell us our name, say the paddles. Fingers of Horus the firstborn is your name. Tell me my name, saith the Machabet. The hand of Isis, which wipeth away the blood from the eye of Horus, is thy name. Tell us our names, say the planks, which are in its hulk. Mesti, Harpi, Tuamata, Keb Senu, Hakau, that is, he who leadeth away captive. Thet em Awa, that is, he who seizeth by violence. Ma an Tep, that is, he who seeth what the father bringeth, and Ari Nep Techesep, that is, he who made himself, are your names. Tell us our name, say the bows. He who is at the head of his nomes is your name. Tell me my name, saith the hall. Mert is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the rudder. ak -ah, that is, true one, is thy name. O thou who shinest from the water, hidden beam is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the keel. Thigh, or leg, of Isis, which Ra cut off with the knife to bring blood into the sectet boat, is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the sailor. Traveller is thy name. 
Tell me my name, saith the wind, by which thou art borne along, the north wind which cometh from Tem to the nostrils of Kenti Amenti is thy name. Tell me my name, saith the river, if thou wouldst travel upon me. Those which can be seen is thy name. Tell us our name, say the river banks, destroyer of the god Awa, that is, he of the spacious hand in the water-house is thy name tell me my name saith the grand if thou wouldst walk upon me the nose of heaven which proceeded from the god utu who dwelleth in the seket aru and who cometh forth with rejoicing therefrom is thy name then shall be recited before them these words hail to you O oh, ye divine beings with splendid cars, ye divine lords of things, who exist and who live for ever, and whose double period of an illimitable number of years is eternity, I have made a way unto you, grant ye me food and sepulchral meals for my mouth, and grant that I may speak therewith, and that the goddess Isis may give me loaves and cakes in the presence of the great god. I know the great God, before whose nostrils ye placed a chafu food, and his name is Thakem, both when he maketh his way from the eastern horizon of heaven, and when he journeyeth into the western horizon of heaven. May his journey be my journey, and his going forth my going forth. Let me not be destroyed at the mascot chamber, and let not the devils gain dominion over my members. I have my cakes in the city of Peb, and I have my ale in the city of Tepu, and let the offerings which are given unto you be given unto me this day. Let my offerings be wheat and barley, let my offerings be unguent and linen garments, let my offerings be for life, strength, and health, let my offerings be a coming forth by day in any form whatsoever in which it may please me to appear in Sakat Aru. Rubric If this chapter be known by the deceased, he shall come forth into Sakat Aru, and bread and wine and cakes shall be given unto him at the altar of the great god, and fields and an estate sown with wheat and barley, which the followers of Horus shall reap for him, and he shall eat of that wheat and barley, and his limbs shall be nourished therewith, and his body shall be like unto the bodies of the gods, and he shall come forth into Sekhet Aru in any form whatsoever he pleaseth, and he shall appear therein regularly and continually. End of chapter 28